Michael, yes, if you had an opening statement, what would it be? <laughs> <laughs> Just excited to be here, man. Just ready to get this season started, this spring ball started. Uh, obviously, uh, there's been a lot of uh, scuttlebutt, so I guess you can uh, uh, confirm it an hour or whatever, that you'd be working a lot more, maybe at the outside linebacker this spring. And uh, can you t talk about whether that's a fact? And if it is, what that trans what you anticipate a transition like that being? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. That is something that we're, we have talked about and something that we're uh, we're working towards. Uh, I kind of envision it looking something similar to the Florida State game, where I was playing a little bit more outside linebacker there. Uh, it's something that, that's in the making. What do you tell the uh, wide-eyed transfer guys or rookies that are making their way into this program for the first time to experience spring ball? What's what's the, the word of advice and warning you keep them as they get ready for what life that? Oh yeah, it, it's fun. It's exciting. Uh, I always tell them to uh, take care of their body and uh, that uh, that they take it in and learn. Who is your primary position coach now? Is it Chidera? Is it Coach Scott? Who do you meet? No, it's still Coach Scott, but uh, I do go and meet with Chidera separately and get a uh, outside linebacker and stuff in there. So. Uh, hey, Mike, uh, Kirby was talking about uh, ETN coming in and, and showing some leadership, and I guess I would just ask you if you've had any time around him and, and what does it do when you bring in a, a dynamic running back like that to a team? Uh, like you said, uh, he's a great player, he's a dynamic back. And uh, I spent some time with him. There's not much that as I'm going to spend with him. And uh, I can't wait to see what he can do for us. Michael, when it, when it comes to this new role as, as more of an outside linebacker, what are the things you're particularly focused on getting better at this spring over these next few weeks? Uh, basically, with my game this year, um, I'm, I'm basically trying to improve my hands, my hand speed, my pad level, my get off. It, the, really the certain things that I'm going to need to be successful at this position and at the same position. So. Hey, Michael. Yeah. Kirby talked a little bit about making sure returners aren't on cruise control. Even so. if you played a ton, mm -hmm. even if you had a lot of success, how do you as a player make sure you're not on cruise control? Uh, by staying in the right mindset, staying in the grind and, and get better mindset. And that's something that we walk around this building preaching. Uh, we're, we're never, better never rest. That's the saying we have here and we truly believe that. Michael, you battled through some injuries through your first two years, but managed to stay on the field. So I'm curious, what's the key to kind of playing hurt or you know playing injured, if you will? And uh, how do you feel right now during your uh, spring practice? Yeah, I feel great. Uh, basically, just having a great mindset and uh, having a great a great will to play. And then, like the the training stuff here is second to none. We do we have one of the, the best training rooms in the nation, and they, we have a lot of techniques we use to get players back up and able to play. You mentioned playing sort of that outside linebacker role against Florida State. How big was that for you from a confidence standpoint to sort of try a new role and then have sort of that immediate success with it going into this offseason? Man, it was great because uh, it was great because I, I brought this, I mentioned it to uh, Coach Smart and Coach Schumann, and they were, they like agreed with me. Like, that's something that they, they plan to do already. And uh, just for them to have that confidence in me, and then for me to go out there, and we kind of had a result that we did. It was a great confidence boost and a great feeling. Yeah, I guess for anyone at home watching this, can you explain the kind of responsibility differences between what you might do at Jack and what you might do at defense? Uh, see, in our system, uh, it's more, it's more like I'm just gonna be standing up more. Really, it's, it's not many differences. I may drop a little bit more, but I'm really just gonna be standing up more. Okay, there's. You got a bunch of new offensive linemen coming in. Georgia signed six new guys. What are you going to try to teach those guys when they come in? <laughs> the Georgia way, I guess. Like all the newcomers, they they looking great. They got a long way to go, and uh, and they're going to be great players. Alongside a bunch of new guys, uh, this is probably one of the first times in your career that you've gotten to face against uh, returning tackles and, and Truss and, and Ernest Green. How excited are you get to uh, go against those guys again, continuing to iron sharpens iron, so to speak? I'm extremely excited because uh, 
because I've been here and then we've been here for so long, we kind of get to know each other's tendencies a little bit. So we got to change up our game when we're going against each other. Or it's just, just going to be iron on iron, just like you said. So it's great to go against those guys who know how you play. So you got to switch it up on them. I know Georgia fans kind of had their reaction when they saw Carson standing next to a Lambo. What was <laughs> what was the locker room reaction when you guys saw that kind of flex that way? Yeah, man, we were happy for him, man. He deserves it, man. He works for everything he's getting. He's doing it. Well, probably, I'd say he's one of the top quarterbacks in the country, we feel like. And now uh, he works for everything he's getting. Kelvin, I just appropriate for you to follow up question. How many guys have gotten a ride in Carson's <laughs> Lambo? <laughs> A few, quite a few. You know, Carson, Carson's a real big team guy, man. He loves it. <laughs> hey, Michael. In terms of playing some outside linebacker, what got you excited about that or what made you want to do that? And mm -hmm. just what do you like most about it? it? It just seems like a kind of a new challenge. Yeah, sort of, kind of. Uh, I guess you could say that in a way. I kind of like outside linebacker because it shows my versatility. Like, if you, if you play a center side game, sometimes I even rush the guard at three tech. From me being, from me being able to move from a three all the way out to a nine tech, it just shows my, vers my versatility and how can it display until the next level. We learned that, you know, Pierce is no longer be able to play football. Yeah, just as a brother, how do you feel for him and advice for him just to get through this thing? Yeah, man, I came and spoke with him right after I heard that in the locker room, man. It, it kind of hurt me because I know how hard Pierce wanted. He, he, he fought through tons of injuries while he, while he was here, and uh, he wanted it bad. And for him to come with that news, it kind of kind of crushed us. Yeah. Any qu more questions for Michael? All right, thank you, sir. Right, thank you, Michael. Michael.